you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. Welcome to the demonstration series for the Smart Zone controller based on a high scale deployment of the 5.2 Smart Zone release. The videos in this series will show you the basic configuration of many of the aspects of the controller. In this video, I will provide a brief initial overview of the basic system navigation and settings. Let's get started. So we've logged into the system and right away there are several things that we can tell from just the dashboard screen. Um, from the upper right hand corner we can see that we're logged in as the administrator. Um, to the left of that we can see that we are on the SZH01 cluster. We can kind of see what the system time uh, is currently. Uh, on the left hand top corner we can see that this is actually a virtual smart zone high scale controller um, as well as on the bottom left, we can see kind of the host name for the specific node that we're connected to and the version of SmartZone that we're running in the 5.2 release train. So from the wireless dashboard, the first thing that we're seeing is the health. So we can kind of see the health for the components of the system. We've got two cluster nodes. We've got two APs and one client. All of them are blue, meaning that they are all online. Uh, we could see things here that are yellow or red, meaning they are flagged or offline, but currently our systems are healthy and we don't have any outstanding alarms here to indicate that we need to go digging into anything. Uh, we also have a map view. Uh, so we've defined a site, we've put some APs in that site and plotted that within a Google map. So you can zoom in and out. If you had multiple sites, you could see them. Um, and, and you could get some quick information right off this dashboard. So if we hover over our Ruckus HQ, we can see that there are two access points denoted with that site. Both of them are online. We don't have any issues with any flagged or offline APs. Then we could further zoom into the map. So let's go ahead and do that. Zooming into the map, we see kind of like a floor plan layout uh, for this particular site. And we can see where the APs are in relation to that floor plan. You can additionally get more information if you hover over one of those APs. It'll tell you the AP name, its IP address, what channels it's utilizing on the radios, um, how many clients are connected to it, uh, what the traffic for the last hour looks like, if there's any latency, um, it'll be listed here. We can also see airtime utilization. There's a link that you could use to jump further into the AP within SmartZone, but this gives a good overview of a particular site layout. Switching from the wireless dashboard view over to the wired dashboard view gives you a hierarchical representation of the switches within the smart zone instance. So again, we can see kind of similar health information in this particular environment. I only have one switch connected in, um, but we're showing the, the domains um, and the hierarchy for them. So we can see we start at the system domain and then we branch out into a few different domains. The switch that I have in the system is under is under demo domain one. So if we click on that, we can actually see the demo switch group that I created that this switch resides under and further drilling down into that, we can see the specific switch itself. Uh, I did turn on show AP here. Uh, I have LLDP running on the switch as well as the AP. So if we click on the switch itself, we can see APs that are connected directly to it. And we do show the AP that is connected into the, the switch C12 underscore 21. Uh, if you highlight or hover over the AP, you will sh you'll see the MAC address for it, a description of it that includes what version of, of software the AP is running and as well as its status. Same thing with the switch itself. If you highlight it, you can see the MAC address, the description for that switch its online status as well as IP address. The left hand navigation menu is gonna be what you most commonly use to navigate throughout the smart zone system. Uh, we're not gonna take a look at all of the particular uh, tabs here, but we are gonna dig into just a few of them to give a basic overview of where some of the configurations uh, lie. If we go to system general settings, we can see here just some basic system information uh, for the versions. So we can see the controller version, the control plane software version, as well as the AP firmware version. The AP firmware version is the version of AP firmware that is going to be pushed out um, to your APs once they join a zone. 
We can also see under the system summary, we can see the cluster name, we can see the number of control planes, the particular system name that we're logged into, and how long it has been online. We can additionally see uh, some of the capacity information for this particular cluster. So we can see that this cluster supports 100 APs and 20 switches, of which we have two APs connected and one switch connected. We can also take a look at our cluster settings for this particular cluster by navigating to the cluster tab underneath system. On the cluster tab itself, we will see the main cluster, the SZH01 on the top. Uh, then we can see the additional cluster members. We see SZH01 uh, and SZH02. Uh, the summary is actually currently shown on the right-hand side. Since we have the SZH01 highlighted, we can see the information for both of the nodes of this cluster. We can see their management uh, cluster IP and control address. Each node has the same address for each of those roles because we are running this in a single NIC configuration. You can also see the model information listed here. So these are virtual smart zone high scale nodes. We can also see the number of APs uh, that, are, that are attached to each one of these particular nodes as well as the cluster roles and firmware versions and uh, the uptime for each of the nodes. So we can see that uh, our SZ01, uh, SZH rather 01 cluster is our leader while the SZH02 is the follower. Um, if there were additional data planes configured here, we could come here and take a look at those configurations as well. Uh, additionally, if you select a specific, uh, specific cluster, we can go and look at configuration information for the specific cluster. So I'm gonna select cluster 01 here um, and just we can get a, a general summary, kind of the same information. We can see additional firmware. Uh, we can see the number of cores assigned. We can see some of the resource utilization for this particular system. Um, if we moved over to the network settings, we can get a summary of the configurations there, uh, what, what address mode we're using, static in this case, that we can see what the IP is, the subnet is. If we needed to reconfigure that stuff, we can move over to the configuration tab and click the configuration button and we would be able to make changes there. So and you do this generally in initial setup, but if you needed to change it after the fact, you can certainly come here and set it to a DHCP or change the static address. And again, if you had a node that was using multiple interfaces, um, it would display multiple things here, but since we're using the combo single NIC, uh, we have control cluster management on a specific interface. Thanks for taking the time to view this brief demonstration. We hope you view additional topics in our SmartZone Release 5.2 demo series. Mm -hmm.